like I told us about. Why are you doing this? Why leave all of a sudden, after all these years? Precisely. It's much too sudden. We've had no time to prepare. The children are desperate for you to take them out to play. Please, we urge you to reconsider. That must be the guy Ayaka told us about. Let's go over and see. Hello. Ah, uh, you must also be here to try and convince Tejima to stay. What happened? Tejima has protected this place ever since he arrived here 30 years ago. Keeping out the treasure hoarders, fending off any monsters that draw near. Okay. Now, all of a sudden, he says he plans to leave us. We will gladly apologize if- Uh, okay. And what do you have to say? Uh, if you want my opinion, something to do with the vision, it's clear that I can't claim to fully understand it. But I could tell that he'd lost something very oh, important to him. I talked to him he earlier when I was walking told, around. He he lost his vision. He can feel it and he's not happy here. You must be Tejima. So what's made you want to The vision hunt decree. He lost his vision. Me? I it's not a question of why I want to leave, but a question of what reason I would have to stay. Everyone depends on you. True. But that's not why I chose to stay here. And what made me want to come here 30 years ago? And why have I never wanted to leave in all that time? I don't have answers to those questions because I can't remember anymore. Oh. Ever since they took my vision away, it's like a slice of my memory is gone. Oh, maybe if you just try a little harder to remember, then wow. you may come footing back. Wow. Oh, that reminds me. <laughs> Last time I brought Tejima some fruit, I do believe I saw him writing in a diary. Mmm. Mm. I keep a diary? Oh, well, yes, there you yes, go. You Look at the diary. Mind, we will leave you to find the diary. Okay, bye bye. I already found it. <laughs> this looks like Tejima's. Let's see what we today. The villagers and I got together to cook dried raised salted fish. I messed up and burned mine a little, so I had to pretend um, that it was black. This is not helpful. Death. Today. I helped rescue a kid who had fallen in the water. After I pulled him out, he told me that his best friend Bamboo was still in the water. I searched the water the whole afternoon before finding out that Bamboo was the name of his pet crab. <laughs> I okay. Flying today. The string broke, so I chased after it as fast as I could. I um. soon realized I was never going to get it back. So I just found somewhere to sit and watch as it flew away. What are these entries? Hmm. Seems like your average diary of daily village life. Um. Wait, there's more. I went to pray at the shrine again today and stayed there a while. The omamori you gave me has faded a little, but it is still my most treasured possession. Let's go find that yeah, thing. That's the kind of info we're looking for. Time to pay a visit to the shrine. Okay. Mamori. No time to lose. Trying to remember what that is. Some kind of charm. So this is the Omamori Tejima wrote about. Hmm, interesting. Looking at the color and the design, Paimon would have thought it belonged to a child. But anyway, if he had this with him all the time. There's a chance some of his elemental energy remained on it. Do you think that it might come in handy? Sure, let's give it to him. Oh, elemental sight. To find more clues, okay. All right, where are we going? Wait, where are we going? Back. Oh, checking this tree. Here we are. This seems to be somewhere that Tejima visited a lot. What do you mean? Blue. 
looks like it's been disturbed. What Maybe soil? Maybe buried something precious here. What? It would be something pretty amazing if it made him stick around for 30 years. Uh, okay. Sure. It looks like a letter. Oh. If we become separated during war, go wait for me in Conda Village. There'll be a safe home for us there. Huh. So the reason Kejima came here was to wait for someone. But he's been here for 30 years. Oh, guess they didn't show up in the end, huh? Wow. Well, let's go give Kejima his stuff back and take it. That's certainly my handwriting. And I guess the Omamorian letter belonged to me, too. <laughs> but I have no memory of anything that's written in this diary. Well, it's yours. But still, it's clear that I was waiting for someone here, and that I chose to wait for 30 years. Over the years, I must have made a note of anything interesting, anything that I could share with her when we were finally reunited. <sighs> And just look at all the things that did happen over the years. How could I have forgotten something so important to me? Mm. Love, regret, everything I felt for her, it's all disappeared. Does that make you feel sad? No, not especially. Well, really? After all, I've forgotten who she was. It's as oh. if she'd never been in my life to begin with. So do you still as plan if, leaving? I think... maybe not. Okay! Although, At least we were able to help him, weren't we? <sighs> well, let's go find the next person. Alright, we're gonna continue this story. It's the next day. Well, actually, it's not the next day it's the day after that <laughs> all i did was explore in azuma i'll ask one more time do you intend to withhold this month's emergency provisions no the entire clan is counting on that food <laughs> we demand an explanation no explanation how many times do i have to say it i don't know anything about emergency provisions you dare deceive us those provisions are essential do you understand not some goods to be pocketed by greedy samurai you samurai think you can just do whatever you please? The Tenryo Commission will hear of this! Hello? Um, emergency provisions. Like emergency <laughs> oh, uh, huh? And who are you? One of Kurosawa's gang, no doubt. No, I'm a traveler. Uh, what? We just happened to be passing by! We heard the commotion and came to see what the matter was. I see. You seem to have come just at the right time. Perhaps you can help us settle this matter. Perhaps I can. This is Kurosawa. He's a samurai and a member of the Shogun's army. They issue emergency provisions to the area, and he's the one responsible for distribution. Hmm. In the past, we'd simply ask him for provisions and everything would be delivered. Now, he suddenly refuses to give us anything. This must be one of the people Ayaka asked us to help. But why would she ever want us to help someone like him? Because he's a kind person Maybe at heart. We talk to Kurosawa and see what he has to say. He's being forced to, I know it. I've never even heard of these emergency provisions. Okay. I don't know whether it's rumors or whether they're trying to blackmail me. But either way, it's ridiculous. Oh, we heard that you lost your vision recently. And that's the first bit of truth I've heard all day. The Shogun's army told me that I was unworthy of my vision. Oh. And they said I was slacking off in my work. Well, that's strange. You were helping enforce the Vision Hunt Decree. Why would you be unworthy of your vision? To be perfectly honest, I don't seem to remember the details. No one seems to remember anything oh, after they lose their vision. Certain. It's not just that. I have this unsettling feeling. Like, like someone owes me something. Yeah, they're right behind you. Does it have to do with the missing emergency? <laughs> Top it all off. Okay, okay, I we'll help you up, man. But we better confirm. Well, all right, we all right. Be able to follow their tracks. They couldn't have gone too far. All right, go and stop the treasure hoarders from looting Kurosawa's house. All right, let's go beat them up. We really outdid ourselves this time. Oh yeah. All those samurai houses packed with goods. 
<laughs> we really hit the jackpot. Nah, not anymore. I'm gonna steal your yet. things. I'm and the thief here. You the man, you the man you boss! No. Nah. They're not the man. They're the losers. I'm the man. <laughs> the woman. This is order. What am I saying? <laughs> anyway, Teamwork dead. <laughs> they're gone. Goodbye. Uh, there goes all the mora. <laughs> yeah, you know, come on, boss, think of something. They're not very panicked for uh, you know, literally being beat, but all right. <laughs> not bad, kid. You ever think of joining the treasure hoarders? Nah, I'm joining you Tortalia. Like Goodbye. Rosawa. Oh, I remember. So he's the one who sent you after us, huh? <laughs> Just our luck. <laughs> yeah. Food supplies. You kidding? That place was a complete mess. All we found was a strange looking box, hopefully with valuables inside. I didn't want anyone else to see it, so I was planning on opening it myself once we got back. But now that you've caught us, how about we make a deal? That little box for our freedom. What do you say? Sure. You've got a deal. Yep. Huh? What the? Th there's nothing in here but IOUs. Yeah. A lot of them too, and they all seem to be made out to the owner I don't know of what I owe you is. A Miss Aoi. You want welcome to or perhaps uh, about these IOUs? So your friends of Kurosawa. I take no, not really. <laughs> whoa, whoa! Let's not get ahead of our. <laughs> I'm just here to learn where they all came from. How did Kurosawa end up owing you so much money? Did he buy anything super expensive here? Let me think. Kurosawa would come regularly to purchase large quantities of foodstuffs. To help However, people. This is obvious. I tell you he was getting those emergency provisions. Yeah. But why did he have to purchase a usual amount? If the price is increased, couldn't he just buy less? No, it's too many people to feed. Kurosawa was purchasing all the emergency provisions at his own expense. Yeah, I knew that. No one ever appreciated what he did. They just complained and held him accountable. Yeah. People's attitudes will always reflect their circumstances. Yeah. But if you ask me, had Kurosawa told everyone the truth about the supplies from the start, then there wouldn't be such a severe backlash now. Why don't you go ask him yourself? Uh, he doesn't remember. I see. That reminds me. It seems that his vision was recently confiscated. Yeah. Most unfortunate. If he doesn't clear the debt on his name, he'll have no choice but to sell that sword that is so dear to him. What sword? Sword? What sword? No, I say that, Paimon. Oh, didn't he tell you? He possesses a very valuable blade. I've okay. asked him about its origins. He told me that it was a gift from his father, that it was too precious to sell. In hindsight, I regret that I never made an offer on it. Every what? Don't you so tell me about your sword, your very precious sword. Um, what are you doing here all by yourself? What? What, what kind of question I is that? I them with a choice. Either they left or I drew my sword. They left. It turned out to be a real time saver, actually. Perhaps I should start using it more often. What? Um, Did you manage to track down the treasure hoarders? Yeah. Okay. Blah 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 blah. This that happened. This happened. Sums it up. <laughs> Is that really the kind of person I was? No. I don't. No, I'm kidding. Why was I purchasing emergency provisions for everyone? And because they're nice. But I cannot deny that when I brandished my sword to scare those two away, I could sense that my body was somehow reluctant to do so. Okay, the sword. The sword was once wielded by my father. I remember once when I was young, I wanted to sneak out with the blade and show it off to the kids next door. My father ended up catching me in the act and scolded me severely. What did he say? <sighs> I can't seem to remember that either. It would seem that I forgot many important things when my vision was taken from me yeah that All seems to happen to everyone now is my father telling me that this blade bore his life's creed before he passed away he placed a sword in my hands oh and said to me with this sword you should hey if you look carefully there seems to 
be some words engraved on the hilt. Can you recognize the words? It says virtue and justice. Virtue and justice? Somehow those two words seem to explain everything now. Taking on seemingly endless debts to make others happy. I guess that must have been my greatest ambition after all. When we get the chance, let's speak to Toma about Kurosawa's debt. The Yashiro Commission would surely help cover his expenses. Sure. In case, we must never let him sell off that sword. Losing a vision. Yeah. Seems like losing all ambition is a terrible experience. It's really bad. for us, you don't have a vision. Yeah, you can't take anything. <laughs> the last guy we need to help. And then Ayako the will help us. The person who had their vision taken is supposed to be a famous sword master around these parts. Alright. Hyman heard that he's the present day master of Make Your Shisui Art. Sounds pretty impressive. This is his dojo. Luckily, there's some people around. Let's go talk to them. I just want to say before we continue, uh, I'm, I'm quite impressed that so far people aren't totally butchering all these Japanese names <laughs> and words. I'm expecting them to like completely screw it up, but so far it it hasn't been all that far off. It's uh they're doing good. <laughs> it's it's going well. Nanako, don't worry. Since they will be fine. Those thugs that challenged the dojo were strong, but he fought them all off in the end, didn't he? Maybe, but I'm still worried about him. Things mm. have gotten dangerous before in the past, but it's never shaken him. This time though, Alright, he needs help. Hey We're coming. We're coming. Who are you? Don't we heard your stupid conversation. Whoa! To regret it. Oh my god, chill! Oh, you got it so wrong. Um, we just came here to help. Uh, we came here to help. We're here to become disciples, okay? Disciples. Uh, yep, yep. We've heard all about that. Okay, I guess we're just gonna lie. It's the whole reason we came all this way. To seek him out and ask him to train us. But then we got here and overheard you talking about how he got possessed or something? Hmm. From the way you're dressed, it doesn't look like you're from around here. Please, accept my apologies. We've had so many people trying to cause us trouble recently that we're on high alert. Oh, what's happening? We haven't arrived at the best of times, I'm afraid. Since they got possessed recently, they still recovering. <laughs> Wait a second. I'm not going back until I can call him my sensei. I see you are earnest in your pursuit. <laughs> Sensei's name is Domon. A name I'm sure you've already heard. No. His fervor truly inspired us. And we trained hard. Determined to Okay, he's a hard him. worker. But then. But then. Not long ago, Sensei had his vision taken away. He hasn't been the same since. He's Nobody since is. Junior this is. I, wait, I know most. this already. Stop hitting so the nail. You haven't heard or of whatever the saying is. Yet. Wait, You're what? There's an exorcism? If you're interested. What so exorcism? Losing your vision can cause possession? I missed uh, something I from guess skipping. We come back this evening and see for ourselves. Okay, so since he lost his vision and he seems quote unquote possessed, they're gonna perform an exorcism on him? What the frick? Um, welcome to Japan. Should we really be all with this? I wanna see Shh. this. So you decided to come? Yes! It's a good just now. When Nanako was attending to him, she heard him whispering a few names to himself. What do you say? She asked him who the people were. He suddenly looked panic-stricken and pushed her away. Oh. It looked like he was in great distress. He was covering his ears and looking frantically around him with bloodshot eyes. What? All um. We kept calling those names. Some of them we knew. Others we didn't recognize. But they all seemed to be the names of sword masters he had defeated in the past. Oh, maybe he feels Anzai. guilty? He used to be a fellow disciple of Sensei's. His senior, in fact. But Sensei defeated him in a duel many years ago. And he has been a wanderer ever since. Hmm. Sensei wouldn't stop calling his name. <sighs> Thankfully, the Shrine Maidens managed to subdue him. So the exorcism can finally continue. I'd like to see this. I'm very begun. interested. All we can Wait, do what? Is patiently await the result. Oh, we're not gonna see? Here's hoping Sensei will be back to his normal self very soon. Mm. Please, excuse me for a moment while I fetch some water. If he wakes up, he is sure to be thirsty. Uh, okay. 
I guess we don't get to see it. I mean, it is disturbing. What? Why you make that face? Hello? Who is this guy? Where's he going? What the frick? Is that him? Huh? Sensei? Who's that sneaking around? Uh-oh. Could they be here to mess up the exorcism? We won't let them get away with it. Who the frick? Hey. Hmm. Seems they aren't here. Should we keep going for the rug? Yeah. Well, they were heading this way, so... It's gotta be. Shut up, Paimon! Let's look a little further up. Yeah, he's right there. He's not even hiding. Suspicious person sighted! Hey! How... How did you... catch up with me? Are you sure you're Dolmon's disciples? You move even quicker than he does. Who are you? Unless... Oh! It's been a few is years. this... Is this... Is this the the, again. the guy that Sensei called his name out to? I don't Anton um, or freaking whatever. Me. We're the ones asking the questions here. First off, who are you? Be the wandering what are you doing sneaking person. Around these parts? Hmm? You seem like bad news, mister. <laughs> bad news? <laughs> I'll have you know I trained side by side with Domon back in the day. I don't care to talk about that time anymore. His okay. Senior? Wait, that means you must be. Yeah, Anzai. yeah, I figured. Yes, yeah, Anzai. That's, that's the name. Why did you run? Because I don't wish to see Dolmon or anyone else associated with him ever again. When we were young, we trained um... under the same swordmaster, studying Make Yoshi Sui art together. Okay, you kind of butchered that, but all right. <laughs> she <laughs> she Practitioners of Make Yoshi Sui art seek to achieve stillness of mind, freedom from all agitation. So the majority of disciples are indifferent to rank and reward. I was no exception. But Domon was different. The first thing he did when he joined was go straight to our sensei and ask him, with a beaming smile on his face, how to become the best in the world. He was consumed by his singular desire to become the best in the world. Okay. Sure sounds like he meant business. So how come you don't want to ever see him again? Because Jealousy. Until he arrived, I was convinced that I would succeed our sensei as the master of Makyo Shisui art. Of all the disciples, I was the most gifted. You're just Dolmon's jealous, bro. So, when I heard rumors that he had lost his mind, my first reaction was to dismiss them as false. How could he, of all people, have lost his mind? I decided to quietly come and see if it were true. Then, to my complete astonishment, I heard him call my name. I thought mine was a name he had long since forgotten. Yeah? So you see, I came here not to cause him any harm. I just wanted to see for myself. Okay, you didn't okay. have to be so weird you about it. What? You're saying he isn't possessed? Does that mean that he's just lost his mind? But how, how is that possible? No. Oops. Monaco, please. Try not to get agitated. I am sorry. With what powers I have, I can find no sign of any malignant spirit having possessed Domon. But spirits may take a myriad of forms in this world. Many of which I cannot claim to have witnessed myself. No, and it's oh, called losing a vision, you idiots. Lady Yai? Is that huh? the same Lady Yai that I think you mean? The head shrine maiden of the Grand Narukami Shrine? That's wonderful news. The oh, is she coming to help? Her. Correct. Lady Yai is most knowledgeable indeed, and has abundant experience in the exorcism of evil spirits and aversion of great calamities. I am okay. unable to say for certain whether an evil spirit has possessed your sensei, but Lady Yai can give a conclusive verdict. Who'd have thought Lady Yai herself would have taken notice of our sensei's case? Isn't he famous? To say that sensei isn't renowned enough to deserve Lady Yeah, Yai's exactly. Attention? No, no, that's not what I meant at all. <laughs> I mean, this is Lady Yai, the head shrine maiden. Okay. Anyway, you should join us too tomorrow. Look at that tree. It's so pretty. Do you think that's Lady Yai? 
Oh, no wonder Junior is so excited. She has a really striking presence. But yeah. Also, is it just Paimon? Or did she look right at us just now? Well, we but stand that, out it was just saying. Nothing. It's not like she's ever seen us before. Exactly. Keep away, Keep away from me. Oh my god. I this dude's freaking out. Please, let me go, I beg you. As you can see, Lady Yai, Domon has persisted in this state for some time now. He appears to see those who have lost to him in duels past, gathered all around him to persecute him. Lady oh, Yai, wow. it That's must be a possession, sad. right? This is nothing like him at all. In the past, no matter what came his way, he would always face it with a, a confident smile. Hmm. I'm sorry. It is clear to me that your sensei is not possessed by any evil spirit. But wow. Then d does that mean he... Hmm, yes. This is a change in the person himself. Unable to cope with the tremendous pressure he was under, he suffered a spiritual collapse. With his wits impaired, he finally descended into... Madness. Well, that's, that's sad. has triggered this change. I believe it must be the loss of his vision. It, it always is ambition? the loss of vision. But Lady Yai, even without his ambition, why should he suffer such a dramatic change? Your school practices make your shisui art, does it not? Stillness of mind, freedom from all agitation. <laughs> what a fine notion that would be if any in this world could ever hope to achieve it. There was once... One who claimed to be indifferent to rank and reward, and who fled enraged when defeated by his junior. And then there was an aged swordmaster who was aggrieved enough that he crossed blades with the disciple he himself had taught. Then, what of the one who crossed blades with his own sensei and beloved fellow disciple, and defeated them both? <laughs> Can one truly remain unagitated of still mind in moments such as these? Only a deep commitment to his ambition to become the best made it possible for him to rise above the pain of these encounters. To focus on the way ahead. When that oh. ambition disappeared, he began to doubt himself. As he battled his growing anxiety, he slowly descended into the state you see him in now. That's enough! Huh? Isn't that Onsai? Where did he come from? Snap him to his Onsai senses! Way here? Let's Onsai. go! Why are there two of you? Is that you or a ghost? Oh my You're god. Here for revenge, aren't you? I knew it would come. I never should have. You're oh right my. to assume that my feelings towards you are far from kindly. <sighs> but I didn't come here to settle a score. It's been so long now that I made peace with it years ago. You did nothing wrong that day. I just. I couldn't face the humiliation. That's why I ran. I don't think most of the people you beat along the way would hold it against you. On the contrary, when you cut our ambition short, we entrusted them to you in the hopes that they might carry you further. Now I know that we can't place our hopes in you any longer, since you've been stripped of your ambitions too. Put everything I had into trying to become the best. But what if it was all a huge mistake right from the start? If there's a chance they'll end up like me one day, I'd rather they stay where they are now than go any further down this path. Have you asked them what they think? Sensei, after you rescued me from the hands of the pirates, I told myself I would follow in your footsteps for the rest of my days. I can't know whether I will suffer in my future as you do now. All I know is that here and now, in the present, I wish to continue. I want to keep going until the day that I can stand before everyone with my head held high and announce that I, like my sensei Domon before me, am a master of Meikyo Shisui art. That's beautiful. Not goes far from the only one. Actually, all of us think that way. Goodness. Well, I... You see, you can place the ambition you once had in their hands. I understand. I'm sorry to have made you worry for me and for the state of Meikyo Shisui art. I no longer have the resolve to become the best in the world. 
the emptiness and suffering inside of me will not abate, so I cannot hope to still my mind and be free of agitation. But as your sensei, I shall commit to imparting unto you everything I have learned in my life so far. This is my promise. And I humbly ask Anzai, my senior, to hold me to my word. Say thank you to Lady Yai and then get yourself back home. Well, she ended up fixing it somehow. <laughs> okay. So even though his ambition was taken away, his disciples can take it over on his behalf. Guess that sort of solves this one, huh? Yeah. It seems as good of a resolution as we can hope for. Traveler, a moment, please. Lady Yai has some words for you. What? So, my intuition was correct. The wind you know who that blows from afar carries fresh life to these shores. For us to meet now is premature. Nevertheless, you set foot on these islands at precisely the right moment. Hmm, I have high hopes for you, child. Don't disappoint me. Um, okay? Ooh, Lady Yai seems to have taken a real interest in you. It's kind of creepy. She seems super mysterious. Paimon, so curious what she really meant by all that. I don't like it. We can come back to it another time. What the fuck was that? What? Alright. Oh, we gotta go to Ayaka and tell her that we did everything. Oh, Ayaka! Guess who fulfilled all your wishes? Is she gonna reveal herself? Wait, what? What? Uh, uh, what? Oh my god, here she is! I am worthy to see her! I am worthy! Hi! Traveler, Paimon. I need to I'm bow! To finally meet you both face to face. I'm supposed to bow! I've heard all about how you helped our three friends. My sincerest thanks to you. Um, um, actually, we didn't really help at all. Yeah, short of getting them their visions, kind of just like we were there. Like there's no way to really help them. Um, no. Ayaka, how come this time you get to come out and meet us in person? It's Japanese tradition, Paimon. You have now witnessed the pain of those deprived of their visions. Mm hmm What are your feelings on what you have seen? It is... Um, I hope that they can one day be free from their torment. Perhaps now you can appreciate my feelings on all of this. In which case, perhaps you would be willing to reconsider your stance? Alright, finally. I will help you fight the Vision Hunt Degree. This is what it took to change my mind. I don't know why I was already willing, but I guess the Traveler's just selfish. Now then, given that the remainder of our discussion pertains to matters of a more confidential nature, perhaps we can move to the Kamori Tea House? Alright. Hmm. I can ask all kinds of questions. Have you raised a formal objection to the Vision Hunt Decree? Uh, of course. We have tried on numerous occasions. Unfortunately, each time a proposal to repeal the decree arrives at Tenchukaku, it is promptly vetoed by both the Tenryo Commission and the Kanjo Commission, and subsequently scrapped. Mm. What kind of god is the range of The man? almighty Shogun. I have seen her on but only a few occasions, most of them formal ceremonies. She inspires awe, commands respect, and exudes a sense of absolute authority. But as I recall, there was something else about her that struck me even more deeply. It was her almost complete lack of any emotion. Oh. In that sense, she appeared to me to be less of a ruler and more of, well, an executive official, I suppose. Focused exclusively on her single goal of implementing eternity. Acting accordingly without feeling. Hmm, that's very strange. Is no one else fighting the Vision Hunt Decree? The issue is this. For the vast majority of people, the Vision Hunt Decree is something that has no implications whatsoever. After all, it is but a tiny minority of people who receive visions. 
Moreover, it is not unknown for visions to spark jealousy in others. Because right. of this, the attitude of most people towards the vision hunt decree is one of indifference. Right. How can he be like that? Paimon's getting mad! <laughs> Nevertheless, in addition to us, there is also the resistance on Watatsumi Island. Resistance? You mean like an army fighting against the decree? Perfect. Yes. Many who have lost or fear losing their visions have rallied together under Sangonomiya on Watatsumi Island to form a resistance group. Oh, I have no further questions. Ooh, ooh, Paimon has a question though. It's gonna be oh. dumb. What would you like to know, Paimon? Have you got a plan yet to fight the vision hunt decree? To be honest, we do not. What? For the moment, all we can do is try and reduce the harm that is being caused by this decree. All For right. example, by providing vision bearers with safe refuge, or manufacturing counterfeit visions for them as a contingency measure. You're telling Paimon that there are people out there who can make fake visions? Don't underestimate the talents of the craftspeople of Hanamizaka. To the naked eye, what? their counterfeits are indistinguishable from the genuine article. Must have been more venti went. The problem we are facing right now is that Master Masakatsu, who was providing us with counterfeit visions, has recently been arrested by the Tenryo Commission. Darn! So they found out about it? Ugh. It is only right that he should be saved too. Exactly. I feel the same way. When you are ready, go to Hanamizaka and look for a firework shop run by the <gasps> Yomiya! There? You will find someone who can help you. Yo, I'm ya! Am I- Please? She makes fireworks, I know that! Please, please, please. Oh shoot, what's happening here? This Just doesn't look good. Over. You don't want any trouble with me. What? If you think your elemental powers are enough to resist the vision hunt decree, then you'd better think again. No, I'll save you, Yo, I'm ya! You're not the first of your kind we've encountered. That's not Yo, I'm ya. You've seen the same <laughs> Can't you make an exception? I just got this vision. Oh my god, he was just wrong. blessed. Why? So this is the vision hunt decree in action, huh? We can't just sit around and watch things unfold, can we? Let's move. Psst. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Huh? There's someone trying to get our attention. It's her! Come on, this way. Oh my god. I'm uh, a simp. She's gonna, Quiet. she's gonna do it with us. Just sit tight and watch for a moment. Get him, get him, get him. This isn't right, you know. Just because you Shut up, Paimon! Huh? Hey, wait. You do have a vision. Shh. If you don't keep your voice down, I won't have one much longer. <laughs> all right, all right. Here, take it. <laughs> Is she gonna put fireworks? All right, let's go. What should we do now? Wait, that was. Giving up his vision. I thought she was gonna do you something. Know what could happen to him after losing it? Uh, this is your fault. You're the one who stepped us No, she's got him. something up her sleeve. I know it. Many thanks, Miss Yoimiya. If you hadn't swapped me a fake. Ah, I got it. No worries. You put on quite the convincing performance. You should hide your vision, though, Yoimiya. I'm just saying. So the vision they took was a fake. Oh, so that's what's going on here. <laughs> I think nothing of it. I could tell from your reaction we were on the same side. You just didn't know it, you know? I did. Oh, right. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Yoimiya, the current owner of Naganohara Fireworks. It ain't much, but it's honest work. <laughs> Great to meet ya. She's so cute. Practically everyone on Hanamizaka knows Yoimiya. She's the queen of the summer festival. She's a queen! Without her and her fireworks, summer on Narukami Island just wouldn't be the same. That's quite the introduction. Paimon loves fireworks. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Stop it, Hanjiro. You'll embarrass me. As for thanking me, you'd be better off thanking Master Masakatsu. He's the one that gave me the fake visions in the first place. His handiwork allowed me to keep my own vision. Whew, I can't even imagine trying to run the business without it. <laughs> yes, Master Masakatsu is a good man. It's too bad good people seldom get the recognition they deserve. For real. Master Masakatsu? Huh? Do you guys know him too? 
Yep, Miss Kamisato mentioned his name. You don't say! Then it sounds like the Shirasagi Himegimi has a plan. Awesome! I've been thinking about breaking him out too recently. <gasps> She's gonna but join us in the in the the, 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 the fight. Myself, I probably get Miss Kamisato in a whole heap of trouble. <laughs> so, what about if I join you instead? Please. Sure. Welcome to the team. Ayaka told us to go look for help at a fireworks shop. She must have meant you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so excited. I've been waiting for so long to be her. Vision bearers in my shop, that is. <laughs> so, Master Masakatsu is being held at the police station. I've already surveyed the area and found a way in. Wow! Oh, talk about a reliable source! Yeah! That, huh? <laughs> Let's go as soon as everyone's ready. Is this the police station? I kind of just casually walked over here. Secret passageway. Let's go. Come on, this way. As long as we stay quiet, we've got a good chance. I certainly wouldn't want to end up locked away in here. Let's find Master Masakatsu and get out of here. We should split up. I've got a little present to prepare for Master Masakatsu. <laughs> oh, fireworks. Uh, you sure? All right then. Just be careful not to get caught. Whoa! Whoa! Look at that mask! Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention. I was admiring this place. I've, it's very interesting. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. Seems we need to collect something shaped like Magatama in order to open it. We're not being very quiet, but you know what? It's okay. We in a dojo? Nice. This is totally fair. I mean, I have a vision and you don't. <laughs> I just fire arrows at you. That's all I gotta do. I need to train harder. No, you need a vision. <laughs> I've lost. You've lost. Move. Bro, it's a sliding door, Paimon. That's a thing in Japan. What strength? They're weak. <laughs> Ooh, uh, give me that chest. Fight me. I'm having way too much fun right now, okay? I won't forget this. Let me throw my giant bomb! It's not a bomb, but it feels like one. Let's make it rain ice inside this room. <laughs> All right, give me that chest. Thank you. Wait, what's up here? I want to go up here. There might be a secret chest. I have to explore everything, okay? Yep, there's a chest. Ooh, I like the detail in here. You can see all these cobwebs. It looks very dark and dirty. Hidden chest. We like that. What the? The heck is this? What the? I, I don't think I want to touch it. I'm gonna get electrocuted. Right from behind? Nope. He somehow knew I came over. Got him. Okay, let's go down. Whee! I don't know. We're going over here, not up. Perfect. Okay. Hey! 
Why, why is there only one guard at the door? That is honestly sad. Goodbye. We must withdraw. And now open. Open sesame. Wait, what? Oh, sliding door. Oh my god, how did I miss that? Um Oh, is this like some kind of puzzle? Oh uh, sliding doors. Alright, this is a cage. Okay. We're probably close. Alright, let's slide this. Um, and then we're gonna slide this. Uh, oh. This is very strange. Whoa! This looks cool! I like the chains. I was just admiring the place, okay? That must be Master Masakatsu. Uh, no. It's okay. Oh, no. Those Tenryo Commission fruits are torturing him. If we don't come up with a way to break him out fast, then... <gasps> Yaimiya, when did you get back here? <laughs> we need to ensure we have a means of escape. Uh, I can't bear to watch. If anything happens to Master Masakatsu, our whole plan will have been for nothing. Hey, you there! What are you doing? Ooh, oh, ma'am. We, we were just teaching him a little. Ooh, lesson. this! Is this Sara? Huh? Who's that? That's Kujo Sara, adopted daughter of the Kujo clan of the Tenryo Commission. She's also a general in the Shogun's army. She's very she pretty. Can... Not as pretty as Yomiya. <clears throat> but <laughs> I think Kazuo mentioned her before. Make way. Let me have a look at him. Yeah, look at that. I'm sorry, I'm just- I'm just staring at one. <laughs> I'm sure you're well aware that torture is strictly against military regulations. I, yes, ma'am. If you are unashamed of such disgraceful action, then you are also unworthy of the Tenryo Commission itself. Do I make myself clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, ma'am. <laughs> it won't happen again. Well, Paimon sure wouldn't want to get on her bad side. Hey, yeah. It's your chance. Let's move while they aren't watching Master Masakatsu. Yoimiya, are you sure now's the right time? <sighs> Who is Look that? at them heels. What the, are, are those heels? What is that? Quick, go and investigate. Whoa, she's That's sharp right. on her feet. They're coming! Quick, hide! Um, wait. Sorry, where, what, sorry, what? sorry. I didn't mean to. No, it's okay. They'll find us for sure if we don't do something, oh, though. Don't worry. I've got us covered. Time for my little present. I'm very interested. Ooh. <gasps> fireworks! Nice! Huh? Was that an explosion? It, it sounded like fireworks. Quick, let's hurry! Haha! <laughs> nice. Oh, the fireworks were enough to distract them. Uh, maybe more than enough. <laughs> <laughs> fireworks aren't just for festivals, you know. Nice. <laughs> I was particularly proud of this batch. I decided to. Whoa, let's go! Ay, <laughs> uh, Mia, this is turning into a bit of a fireworks display. I love it! The coast is clear! Now's our chance! Let's go! We're here, Matsukatsu! Matsukatsu! Oh my god, Masakatsu! <laughs> Okay, here we are. Y Yoimiya, is that you? We're here. We're here. Master Masakatsu, sorry we took so long. Oh, those awful guards. Come on, we've got no time to lose. They could be back any minute. Uh oh. <gasps> um. Uh, you were over there watching us this whole time, weren't you? Yes. Leave. Before I let my judgment get the better of me. Oh. He's in serious condition. Be sure he gets immediate medical attention. But remember, once Wait. he's recovered, it won't be long until I bring him right back. Uh, oh! Well, <clears throat> you can bet we'll do all we can to keep that from happening. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Leave this place. Uh, thank you?
Oh, yeah, oh, give me that present. The, the present? I mean, it is a present. <laughs> Mr. Masako, it's you. How do you feel? Can you hold on? Don't worry. I think I can make it to the infirmary without keeling over. Thank you. All of you. I'll take him to get treated. I'll treat you to a round of drinks once this is all over. What? I'm, don't I don't drink. Just take care of Master Masakatsu. <sighs> Good thing we were able to rescue him. Luck was on our side this time. Right, Kujasara. Do you think she was making up for how the guards were treating him? It Maybe. It seems as though there are some okay people among the ranks of the Tenryo Commission. Yeah. Paima would never agree with their actions in the Vision Hunt Decree, of course. How about we go tell Ayaka and the others the good news? So Kujo Sara stayed her hand. It would appear she still has some honor to her. I wonder if we should try establishing contact with her. Perhaps we could coax out some information. Unlikely. Don't forget, Kujo Sara is also carrying out the Vision Hunt Decree. She obeys the orders of the Raiden Shogun without question. It is time we make ready our next set of plans. There's Ooh. no need to rush, my lady. No! Things do it! Things seem to have taken a turn for the better, at least. Not only have we rescued Master Masakatsu, but our list of allies appears to be growing. Uh, yes, which reminds me. The Tenryo Commission seems to be making preparations for a celebration. They call it a ceremony of sorts. And the number of samurai out enforcing the Vision Hunt Decree seems to be waning. The days ahead may be more peaceful than usual. A ceremony, you say? <laughs> Why would such a task be left to the Tenryo Commission? I don't think it's a ceremony. But I'm sure it has nothing to do with us. Anyway, nope! Famous the last words! Busy with <laughs> what would you suggest? I'd say a celebratory feast is in order. Can you and Mia come over? Evening of hot pot together. Oh, yummy. <laughs> Funny enough, I learned a new hot pot game recently. I'm sure you'll find it quite amusing. Uh, What's that? Uh, well, sure. Well, simply put, every person prepares an ingredient to add to the hot pot. Once the oh. meal begins, we add all the ingredients together. I like that. Then That's we fun. Take it in turns to close our eyes, pick an ingredient out of the pot, taste it, and guess whose ingredient it was. Anyone who guesses correctly uh, can go again, and whoever finishes the meal with the most points is declared the winner. What the Tradition frick is this? This is weird. Like, don't you think it sounds like fun? Not <laughs> anymore. To give it a try. In fact, I've already got my ingredients prepared. Oh my god! You what? To play, huh? Yeah, you're just forcing us at this but point. Got our work cut out for us. Time to gather some ingredients. But what should we choose? Uh, chili pepper. The the the. Let's be team daredevil. Yes. Oh, Raymond proposes we gather raging demon level. Yes, Julian and chilies. That's what I meant. Super salty ham, mist flower corollas. We have the you same mind. I'm on. <laughs> I like this. Oh, my stomach. It feels like you and me as fireworks are going off. Inside. <laughs> Got him. Who would have guessed that Toma would be the winner? He ate practically all those weird ingredients without a second thought. Uh, Toma, you okay, buddy? <laughs> crusted herring, unripe lavender melon, flash boiled dongo. Oh, and uh, <laughs> that nearly froze my tongue off. Uh, hold up, my life is starting to flash before my eyes. Oh my God, Toma you're so dramatic. Jeez, <laughs> you've only got yourself to blame, Toma. All those strange things you ate were ingredients you added yourself. Oh! Are you the one who added those little cakes, Ayaka? <laughs> I think the traveler ended up eating one. Yummy. Boiling cakes in hot pot. Ugh. Think of the texture. I must apologize. To be perfectly honest, I thought the cakes would be a tasty addition. Uh, it's okay. Oh, oh. I'm definitely not okay. You need to. Oh, I need to lie down. Oh, I feel like a new man. Okay, you know, Tama, buddy. All you had to do was guess wrong on purpose, and it would have been someone else's turn. Talk about being competitive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guess I've been feeling unlucky recently and wanted the God of Hot Pot's blessing. Perhaps what? I did get okay. a little away. Still, I couldn't be beaten at my own game first time around. I think my luck has already taken a turn for the better. I can sense it. So without further ado, 
I hereby declare that the winner of today's hot pot challenge is me. Oh, wow. Oh, good effort, team. Another important um, job taken care of. Next on the agenda, really? well earned rest and relaxation. Oh my yes. God, this if dude! If the Tenryu Commission truly is as busy with preparations <laughs> as Toma claims, uh, then some rest would be a welcome change of pace. And with the so extra time, weird. <laughs> there are some other matters I wish to attend to. Time is hard to come by these days. I'll yeah, tidy whatever. Here and start thinking about our ingredients for our next round. <laughs> Bruh! Oh my sure, God! Why not? We Bruh! Should again, now that everyone knows the rules, I'll see you all later. Later. Oh, why are we doing it later? Also, why did he wink? It's not like that, Toma. Why do you wink at me? I don't like you like that. Okay, well, that ends uh, this video because I actually can't continue the story. They want me to uh, complete other quests. They want me to complete Ayaka's story, and I think this is Yomiya's or something? I don't know. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. That'll be the end of this video. Goodbye!